732 right now. Home prices are falling fast in an effort to try to get homes sold, occupied. And at the same time, mortgages are starting to creep up. So we go to our mortgage man, our expert, Vince Ingui, who we call Vince Inside, because he's the ultimate insider on the mortgage business and the housing business. Normally, this time of year, nobody wants to move or sell a house because people are busy with the holidays. But uh, in addition to Christmas shopping, you think this might be a good time to do some house shopping? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're starting to see, as you said, Steve, uh, interest rates are ticking back up. You know, we said about a year ago when rates were about 4, 8, 4, 9, and a 30-year fix that were at all-time lows, and surprisingly, they dropped even lower. We talked about hitting the bottom. The 30-year fixed rate got to about four and a quarter, give or take, over the last few months. But we're seeing that trend reverse now. Um, it's not necessarily a straight line reversal. That rates are going to go up tomorrow. So we're seeing it up and down. But now we're back up to four, eight, four, nine. So you got to you know, lock in your interest rate now. I mean, I've got clients, for example, mm -hmm. that have been on the fence, said, I'm going to hold off on the refinance for a couple of weeks while I get some holiday shopping done and, and revisit back. And may have wasted a good opportunity. What's that little bit of an increase do in terms of money for a monthly payment, for instance? Say you had a $1,000 monthly mortgage. Mm -hmm. What would a little increase like that mean in terms of dollars? Well, on a $1,000 mortgage payment, not so much, to be honest with you. You're talking maybe, uh, you know, 10 20 $30 a month, somewhere in that neighborhood. Depends on your loan amount, obviously. Depends on the exact interest rate. And that's what I've been preaching to folks, too, because I've had a client, she's probably watching right now. If not, I'll send her the link from myfoxfilly.com when we, when we get off the air. She had a 3.875 that we were looking at for a 15-year mortgage. She was basically reducing her term from a 30-year, literally saving her $200,000 in total savings over the term. Her rate went from 3.8 now to 4.2 because a little bit of procrastination. So it changes her monthly payment by 30 or 40 bucks. She's like, well... I think I'm going to wait until rates come back down before I go. You're giving up $200,000 yeah. in savings for the potential maybe to save a few hundred dollars a year for the next few years. Just it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. People get illogically attached to, get, to an interest rate. Is it hard to get people in that way of thinking because of the way the past has been? I mean, it's been the worst year for home sales and people are still dealing with a lot of financial um, unemployment uncertainty. Is it hard to get people to change you know, their way of thinking? Sure. I mean, you know, the Consumer um, Confidence Index just came out yesterday and it was lower, which to me was a little bit of a surprise because I saw how packed the malls were when, you know, when I was right. doing some Christmas shopping uh, this year. But the reality is, is you're right. The unemployment rate is still hovering around 10%. There are a bunch of homes that are still on the market which aren't selling. Um, so people aren't feeling that great about where, they, where, they, where this economy is right now. So when you think about buying a house, usually you wait till June, maybe the spring, maybe as early as March or April, that's when I bought my house. Do you think it's not a good idea to wait now because the mortgage rates could be higher and house prices might change between now and the spring? I don't think you're gonna see a big change in house prices between now and the spring, but yeah, I think you're on the head with the mortgage rates because you know, you're giving up, let's say if you're at four, eight on a 30 year fix, you may very well be at five and a half. Um, come mm -hmm. next summer, even if it, housing prices stay the same, yeah. you know, what you're losing there uh, from an interest rate perspective is obviously the bigger the loan amount gets, the more. Um, I think you're, it's an opportunity cost that's not worth uh, risking for sure. So, so make your move now is the bottom Go line. Go right now. Either refinance right now um, because interest rates are definitely going back up. And if you can find a great deal, a house you love, and in particular in an owner-occupied situation where you know you're going to be there, you need mm -hmm. a place to live and you know you're going to be there for a while, Buy the house, lock in, and very close to an all-time, you know, an all-time low as far as interest rates concerned. Don't worry about housing prices coming back. I think we've kind of leveled off. Uh, we may, you know, tinker a few percentage points or so, but long term, it's a perfect time to buy. Take the chance; it'll be worth it. Absolutely. All right. All right, Vince Insider Ingui. I bought <laughs> my house. The first time I saw it was covered in snow. So I guess other people should take the same uh, advice that you just offered. You got it.